Today, Ireland, Norway and Spain are announcing that we recognise the state of Palestine. Each of us will now undertake whatever national steps are necessary to give effect to that decision. In the lead up to today's announcement, I've spoken with a number of other leaders and counterparts, and I'm confident that further countries will join us in taking this important step in the coming weeks. We do so because we believe in freedom and justice as the fundamental principles of international law, and because we believe that permanent peace can only be secured upon the basis of the free will of a free people. From our own history, we know what it means. Recognition is an act of powerful political and symbolic value. It is an expression of our view that Palestine holds and should be able to vindicate the full rights of a state, including self-determination, self-governance, territorial integrity and security, as well as recognizing Palestine's own obligations under international law. Our step today, taken with Norway and Spain, is a further recognition of the legitimate right to statehood. It is a statement of unequivocal support for a two-state solution, the only credible path to peace and security for Israel, for Palestine, and for their peoples. We have previously said that recognition is a step we would ideally have taken as part of a process towards that goal. However, we are three decades after the Oslo process and perhaps further than ever from a just, sustainable and comprehensive peace settlement. Our decision to recognise Palestine should not have to wait indefinitely, especially when it is the right thing to do. It is, it is a decision being taken on its merits, but we cannot ignore the fact that we are taking it as Palestinians in Gaza are enduring the most appalling suffering, hardship and starvation a humanitarian catastrophe unimaginable to most and unconscionable to all is unfolding in real time. Let me be clear that Ireland condemns the barbaric massacre carried out by Hamas on the 7th of October last. Civilians attacked, murdered, hostages taken in the most brutal and terrifying of circumstances, including a young Israeli Irish child. We call again for all hostages to be immediately returned to the arms of their loved ones. But let me also be clear, Hamas is not the Palestinian people. Today's decision to recognise Palestine is taken to help create a peaceful future. A two-state solution is the only way out of the generational cycles of violence, retaliation and resentment, where so many wrongs can never make a right. So today we're saying we recognise the State of Israel. We recognise its right to exist in peace and security within internationally agreed borders. We equally recognise the state of Palestine and its right to exist in peace and security within internationally agreed borders. Recognising the state out of Palestine sends a message that there is a viable alternative to the nihilism of Hamas. Hamas has nothing to offer but pain and suffering to Israelis and Palestinians alike. There is also no future in the extremist version of Zionism that fuels settler violence and illegal appropriation of land in the West Bank.